Let's see some data compression in the editor. So in this program, we'll be implementing the run length encoding compression algorithm. Just like we saw in the slides, the way this works is it will take the original text and it will compress it down into a single character and the number of times it repeats, followed by a single character and the number of times it repeats, and so on. So what turns into W4, H1, A6, T1, question mark, 1. So this compression algorithm works at the character level of abstraction. A lot of compression algorithms work on the bit level of abstraction. It looks at the bits, looks for patterns there, and compresses that down. We will be looking for patterns in the character level. So I've set it up so that we get some text from the user. We compress the text using the compress function. Then we decompress the compressed text using the decompress function. And then we compare them. They should be equal. So we need to write both of these. So first off, let's compress the text. So there's a couple things we need to keep track of. First off, we're going to build up the result, the resulting compressed text. So let's keep track of that. That starts off empty. And then we need to keep track of all of the character runs within the string. We need to keep track of the current character and how many times that character is repeating. So we'll keep track of current character. That'll be nothing to start off with. And the current run length. Current run length. And that starts off as zero. And now we just want to loop over the string and update these, update these variables. So we'll loop over the entire string, loop over the original text, and what we want to do is, so the first character will kick us off. If we're at the first character, then we want to update current char to be this character. And we want to update the run length to be 1, because we've seen one of that character. Otherwise, if we're not at the first character, then we must already be part of an existing run. So grab the current, grab this character. Let's call this current run character. If this character in the string is the same as the run character, then we just add one to the run length. We're continuing on this run. We've seen another A, so attach more A's to the run length add one to the run length. Otherwise, if we've been seeing a bunch of A's and this new character is a W, it's not the same as the run character. That means the run must be over. Otherwise, the run is over. So add the current run and let's name this correctly. Add the current run character and current run length to the result and update current run character and current run length to be this new character that we're at in the string. And after we've looped over the entire text, we should have our results. We can return the result. So let's implement all of these steps. For var i equals 0, i is less than original dot length i plus plus. We want to do all of this. So if we're at the first character, if i is 0, well, then we need to update run char to be this character. So current run char is equal to original dot care at i. And the run length should be 1. So current run length equals 1. We've seen one character so far, and it has a current run length of 1. Otherwise, we're part of an existing run, so we need to update that existing run. Else, do all this. Grab the current character. We'll say var current character is equal to original dot caret i. And if it's equal to the run character, then we need to continue on this run. If current character is the same as the current run character, then we got to keep that run going add on to the uh, run length. Otherwise, the run's over. So we need to add this to the result. For example, we'd, we would add, we've hit the H, so now the W run is over, so we're going to add that W4. So add 
the current character, the W, and add the current run length. But now we gotta start off this new one. Now we should be looking at an H1. So update those. Current run character is equal to current character and current run length is equal to one. And let's return the result. And just for this, let's return the empty string for now. We'll implement that later. Let's see what we get. So we try hello. Ooh, this is interesting. So it worked for the H, worked for the E, worked for the two L's, but we don't see the O. So what's the problem there? So this is a classic example of the fence post problem. We did this algorithm for the entire string, but since the string ended, this else never actually ran. We got to the end of the string without the O run ever ending. So to end that O run and add the O to the compressed, we need to do that after the loop is over. So the loop is done, this current run is over, so result plus equals the current run character and the current run length. Now, if we try hello, nice, we get the whole thing. We can try what? Perfect. Now we got to decompress it. So to decompress, what we'll do is we simply need to loop over every, grab every two characters and write out the given character the given number of times. So we'll loop over the compressed text. We will grab the in groups of two. We will grab the character, grab the run length from the string, and then write out the character that many times to the decompressed text result. And then return the result. So if we implement all of these steps, this should work. So let's try that. Var result starts off as the empty string. We want to loop over the compressed text. So for var i equals zero, i is less than compressed text.length. And then we want to do it in groups of two. We want to do all this. And we want to do this in groups of two because we are processing two characters at a time. We process the W4, then we process the H1, then the A6, and so on. So get the character. It's going to be compressed text at I. And then the run length, well, the run length character is going to be the compressed text character at that index. Chair at I plus one but we want the actual numeric value. So run length is equal to parse int of the character. So that will get it in numeric form. And then all you have to do is loop this many times and add this character to the result. So for var x equals zero, x is less than run length, x plus plus, we will add this character to the result. And then return it. Let's see if the decompression works. What? Look at that, success, the decompressed text is the same as the original. We're checking that right up here. If original text is equal to compressed, success. So that is an example compression algorithm. Now it's your turn to give it a try.